One of the biggest myths about testosterone is that it makes men more violent and more hostile. Whenever, someone, whenever a man gets into a bar fight or express, has a hot temper, expresses hostility in some way, someone around will always say, oh, there's a guy with way too much testosterone. In actuality, there's a guy who doesn't have enough testosterone. That's why he's overcompensating. When you have optimal levels of testosterone, you don't become more hostile and more prone to violence. If anything, you become more protective of people around you, you become more compassionate, and you become way more confident. And what happens when you're more confident, protective, and compassionate? Do you think that's gonna lead to more violent behavior? Maybe in the context of protecting somebody, but not, for, not being violent for the sake of being violent, not having a hot temper for the sake of having a hot temper. If anything, you become more well calibrated, you're more calm and cool in different situations. And you're way more confident. So when you're working out, you're getting better results, you're building muscle faster, your sex drive is great, and sex drive is very important for men for their mood. If your sex drive is really low, you're not gonna be in a good mood. There's not a man alive with a low sex Sex drive who feels good. I don't care what he says, he's lying. Sex drive is crucial for mood. Now testosterone also improves bone health, it improves heart health, it improves brain health. So it goes way beyond just increasing your libido and improving your performance in the gym. The problem is, is that many men convert testosterone to estrogen. And when that happens, when you're aromatizing way too much, you're gonna have excessive estrogen levels and that's gonna to lead to excessive lower body fat and mood changes. When you have an optimal testosterone to estrogen ratio, your mood is on point, your body fat is either in an ideal area or it's much easier to get it back into an ideal range. And you just feel good, you feel positive. So I think it's actually a crucial component of success for both men and women because remember we both have testosterone and estrogen so testosterone is actually just as important to women as it is to men for the same things for bone health for brain health for heart health for mood and for sex drive and when your hormones are optim when your hormones are at an optimal range the orchestra is working really well together it's going to be a lot easier to be successful in whatever you're trying to do. So one of the other reasons why people fail is that they have such a depleted endocrinology that they don't have the fuel to take on challenges. Why would you take on challenges when you have zero testosterone or depleted levels, when your hormones are completely out of whack? You're going to feel terrible. You're going to be depressed. You're going to have no sex drive. You're not going to be in a, in a state to take on challenges. But when you start optimizing hormones, you start feeling better just from that. And when you feel better just from that, now you want to take charge of other areas of your life. So test, don't think of testosterone as just a, a male hormone and don't think of it as just something to increase sex drive and maybe improve your workouts in the gym. The benefits go way beyond that.